rivalry picks, and Thanksgiving traditions. All in today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. Hey Novi, last weekend was the girls swim and dive state championships. We talked to Avni Rai, one of the swimmers who competed. There were six swimmers who qualified. Uh, three of them made individuals and the other three went for relays. Uh, we did pretty good. We all moved up places from what we were seated. So it, it was overall a good, good meet. It was really exciting. I mean, everyone there is so talented. So it was really cool to swim like amongst them. It was a very exciting weekend for diving captain Lorelai Maisano, who got first place. We got the chance to talk to her about the experience. Um, so I started diving uh, my freshman year, and then um, after my sophomore year, I started doing club diving. So I've just been doing it year round for the past like two ish years. I kind of just like listened to music, and I like didn't really talk to anyone just to kind of like get myself into the right mindset um, to be able to compete and do what I needed to do. Winning was just so surreal because this is everything I've worked for for the past like four years so the fact that I was able to kind of pull myself together and be able to do it was just super exciting. Hey Novi, Cat's Eyes News was wondering what is everyone's Thanksgiving tradition? So we asked a couple people what they do. What are your Thanksgiving traditions? Uh, Thanksgiving traditions, I spend a lot of time with family and friends, eat a whole lot of food, try to watch football as often as I can too. Uh, all my cousins go to my uncle's house and we make uh, apple cider. And we play a game of football outside usually and then we bounce around between the different families that we have to go visit. So my wife's side and my side usually both the same day or we do one of them on Saturday so I get a double Thanksgiving. Me and my family usually go to the Lions game in the like morning and afternoon and then eat dinner together. Um, usually I'll like we'll have a, like a huge family get together and like my I'll see my cousins that um, live in other states. Uh, usually we go up north and we celebrate Thanksgiving up there and everyone lies to me and says that they want mac and cheese as one of the side dishes so I always make mac and cheese and then no one eats it but me and then I get mad at them and so it's super fun and awkward. <laughs> hey Novi, we loved hearing about how others celebrate their Thanksgiving traditions and we hope you have a great Thanksgiving break. We've all been there. You wake up on Thanksgiving morning, all of your relatives are coming in from who knows where and you forgot to cook and they're expecting food, so what do you do? Well, we've come in clutch with three options for you if you forget to cook on Thanksgiving Day and still want Thanksgiving dinner. Option one is your local Meyer at Grand River. Although Meyer is known to buy everyday groceries, you can still buy your everyday Thanksgiving dinner here if you're in a pinch. Although Meyer doesn't have turkey, they have rotisserie chicken along with macaroni and cheese. You can get the entire meal under $5, so if you're in a low budget, this is perfect for you. Option two is Bar Louie in Fountain Walk, which is near Imagine and Coldstone if you've ever been in the area. Here they serve typical American bar food and I've actually been here a couple times myself and it's been quite delicious. So if Thanksgiving day rolls around and you haven't cooked anything and don't know where to go, to be honest, this would be my number one recommendation. And as a bonus, around this time of year, the restaurant and all of Fountain Walk is decked out for the holidays, so it's quite beautiful and you can enjoy a lovely Thanksgiving meal with pleasure. And if neither of those options work for you, you can always just pop in on your neighbors and ask to join their Thanksgiving dinners because after all, what's there to be thankful for more than good neighbors? What's up, neighbor? Hey neighbor, I was wondering if I could join you for your Thanksgiving dinner. No. Well, there you have it, Novi. Just know that if you don't end up cooking on Thanksgiving, there's options available for you. But regardless, I really think personally you should cook because nothing beats grandma's homemade smoked turkey. 
Also, make sure to DM me or Nate photos on Instagram of your Thanksgiving dinner so we can put it on the Cat Side News next week. What's up, Nova, and welcome to Rivalry Week at College Game Day. Starting off with Washington at Washington State. Washington is likely going to be number five in the college football playoff rankings. Uh, they're going to the Pac-12 championship, and I think this is going to be the next step. Give me the Huskies. I agree with Jacob. I think Washington will end up sneaking into the playoff at that number four spot. Uh, yeah, give me them by a million. Give me Washington in this one. UW's going to keep rolling. Next game we have is Oregon versus Oregon State in the Civil War. Oregon's a really good team. Uh, I think Honestly, another playoff toss-up team, so give me the Ducks by a million. Bo Nix threw for like six touchdowns in two minutes uh, last week. He's going to do that again this week. Give me the Ducks. The Civil War is a sick name for a rivalry game, and Bo Nix is my winner for the Heisman Trophy. Give me Oregon. Next game we have is Ohio State at Michigan in the game of the year. It's going to be a toss-up game as it is every year, minus last year, but I think Ohio State comes away with the win and gets a uh, spot in the college football playoff. Michigan is going to win the game for the third year in a row. It could be the number one, number two seed in the playoffs. Give me Michigan. The big house is going to be bumping. Give me Michigan by a lot. I think they're going to run right through them. That will conclude our Rivalry Week episode on College Game Day. Make sure to tune in next week for Conference Championship Week. See you later, Nova. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseynews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Hey there Wildcats, thanks for watching today's episode. Have a happy Thanksgiving, we'll be seeing you next week. In the meanwhile, stay tuned Wildcats.